Hello and welcome to the show. I am your host, Shanks the Red, and uh, I don't really have anything to do in the morning anymore. So when I actually wake up at four, I might just start at four thirty each time I wake up at four. Uh. So, my mic got all fucked up yesterday and I don't know how it's sitting right up in my nose. I don't know how that happened after the cast. Well, going back to, uh, hey, how's it going? It's interesting to see someone like right at the beginning of my cast. Uh, it usually isn't there, but it's always nice to see. Uh, going back to Kingdom Hearts 2, um, We're doing, uh, the world revisits now. Um, yeah. And before we start them, we gotta do something. Uh, not necessarily on stream. Uh. Awesome laggy sounds. Nice! Then you'll get to watch me suck at uh, Beast Castle, which is where we're going first. Uh. Beast Castle. Unless my memory of the boss here is Master does have his shy side, uh, you know. Wrong. But I highly doubt that. Hey there. No heartless and no nobodies. I don't know what that means. I think they're close though. Better watch out. What are you so mad about? Why are you here? The nobody's world has to be out there somewhere. We're looking for a way in. I got, like, tagged in some Twitter shit, uh, and it's in French, and I don't speak French, but I'm assuming it's something I don't want to be tagged in. Huh. 
tonight is very important. Oh. I had this earbud still in because I was doing sound check stuff, but I really don't need to with PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation 2 material because it's always like the same volume level. I know what volume level is good to where it comes out close enough to my voice Ooh, maybe we to hear both pretty well. Donald. But I still do it anyway. Now then, Monsieur, Mademoiselle, please enjoy the evening. And of course, our honored guests are welcome too. A uh, welcome indeed. Not you! The organization! You don't know when to quit. Get out! Not tonight. And here's a new enemy. And it's as I thought. Uh, they introduced for the third time to take something you hold an enemy deep. that uh, prepares you for its boss fight. Um, this is the first time you realize it, though, because, um, we haven't fought the other two bosses yet, uh, in terms of the organization guys. Uh, But these are the Dragoons, if I remember that's their name. Uh, and they're kind of assholes. Uh, if you don't take care of them, they're assholes. God damn it. Fuck you, Donald. But yeah, uh, the Lancers will just warp out and then drop on your head. And they just keep doing that. Uh, But they use lances because they're based off of uh, the guy who like controls them. Where's Bell? Over here. Ooh, she's okay. Guess Alden didn't take anything after all. What's wrong? Bell? What's with them? Maybe Bell isn't the only thing precious to the beast. Come on! Oh, beast just left us. No big deal. It's just like, nah. Swings over here. Oh, look, it's these things again. 
These guys are fun, right? Right? Oh, hi. Those little army guys are essentially replacing their shadows. Uh, no XP enemies. Stop stealing my health! No. Well, that's nice. I'm like 90% sure that's not going to help me during the uh, boss fight here. Because we've already seen our boss. Uh, he's our good friend Zaldan. Uh... It'll be the first time we've seen Zaldan's face, too. Uh, oh my god, they mean on. Oh. Fuck you. Uh. Oh, hi. Of course, anybody who's seen Beauty and the Beast knows what Zaldan took. Uh, if he didn't take Bell. with you the rose my rose <laughs> what that he took it but surely you can find another rose silence you don't know anything that's not fair beast don't take it out on bell it's not like she stole it <sighs> i'm sorry you don't have to apologize but Well, Sora, I want you to leave the castle. Look at me. Look, this is what I am. When you first got here, I tried to change. But I was only fooling myself. I can't be any different. I'll always be a beast, 
so I should live like a beast, with no one alone. Goodbye, Belle. You can't mean that. Oh, I think his mind's all made up. Yeah. Look, Belle, leave this to us. If we can get the beast's rose Sad back, story we'll calm time. down. Poor child. How could it have come to this? And they were looking forward to this evening. Now, oh, now, no need to be so sad. Once the rose is back safely, this will all be over. What's so special about one rose, anyway? If the master can love or be loved in return, the spell will be broken. Well, I'll be human again. Yeah, you told us. But there is a time limit. Hey, how's it going? And the last petal falls from the rose. Ah, but that is not all. Over time, caring for that rose has become a cherished part of the master's daily life. It's as though all his hopes and dreams are tied into that single bloom. Poor beast. Then we have to get it back. Please do. We can't without the beast, though. If it's that important to him, he's got to do it himself. Oh yeah! Come on, beastie! Hey, beast! <sighs> Leave me alone. Come on, you need to hear this. You used to be fearless. You would have given your life to save Bell. Don't you know what that meant to us? You gave us all courage! Hmm. Maybe you should have kept some for yourself. I mean, are you really gonna throw your happiness away? The rose is your only hope, isn't it? Well, it's the only hope for Cogsworth and the others, too! So don't throw away your last chance. Remember what it was like before Belle lived here? See? You can't give up. Not now. I know one thing. What? This castle belongs to me. Zaldin will never be welcome here. Zaldin! Oh yeah. I do find it a little weird that a lot of the keys I keep getting are in the middle of worlds, not like when you'd expect to get them. I don't know why I just did that. That, that was not... That key belongs on this one. Yeah. Dark gem! Okay. Don't you love the music playing right now? I still don't understand why that happens. But, it's so good. Great music. Okay. <laughs> well, I do kind of understand why that happens, but... No, not the big red dude. The... ah, Are you fucking serious?
I walked into the door because of this asshole. Bombs. Oh my god, it hurts. Oh my god, it hurts. Dude, what's going on? Yay, Donald killed himself. Best fight ever. <laughs> Sorry, Donald, but you just had to die. So what's funny is I was actually playing around with the final mix version of the game I have available to me after the cast when I wasn't uh, doing housework that I'm apparently supposed to do this week. But uh... There's something really fucked about the controls. That is really common in the uh, the Japanese release of the games. Uh, at least for Square games, I don't know if it's common with like other companies, but because uh, they did it with uh, the Final Fantasy X international release and like Japanese release too. Um, the square and X buttons are reversed, and I can't swap them. Like, there's no configuration to swap them. Uh... And in Final Fantasy X, it's easier to deal with because, you know... Fucking, uh. It's turn based and shit. I don't have potions. So I don't know if I could ever get used to that. I'm sure 2.5 is different, uh, but I can't get a hold of that because I don't have the system to play it on. What was I looking for? Oh yeah, potions. I don't have high potions either. Yes, I do. Oh, no, I know what went wrong. Fuck. There we go.
Thank you. So, beast, you came after all. You had me worried. I was afraid you'd given up for good. What do you guys really want? Kingdom Hearts. When Kingdom Hearts is ours, Look at we him. can exist fully and Look at them chops. So you see, Beast. That's why we need your Heartless and your Nobody. I don't particularly care for the chops or the eyebrows. But I like his hair. Oh yeah. Fuck these dragons though. Cause I have... No consideration. Friends is awake. Uh, one of my friends from around where I live. Uh, <laughs> Although it's the one I would expect to be awake at this time. Now this fuck is... Hey look, he's got elf ears. I never noticed that before. <laughs> uh, uh, that fuck is like... Beast is fine. He's fine. Nothing is fucked here. Uh, this level is meant for like 36 is what I think it said. I don't know what caused that. Anywho, um, that Zeldin that you have seen, uh, <laughs> Zaldan's a dickhole, so yeah. I probably should have used the energy crystal, but fuck it. Oh, we unlocked uh, Serenity. Serenity lets me make better items. Which is actually pretty cool. Uh, and... I wish I could, but this fight isn't simple and clean at all. Um, especially since... Uh, <laughs> my chance to uh, proc any form, which uh, if you haven't seen the Kingdom Hearts 2 like, drives yet, Red Shock. Um, I have three drive forms I have where I essentially get stronger and uh, the playstyle of those forms is based on what form they are. Valor form can't use magic, it can only use items and attacks, but it attacks really fast and it has a lot of movement. Wisdom form sort of floats and has like this uh, fucking rapid shooting machine gun keyblade uh, and it's very magic based. 
uh, and then Master Form uses two Keyblades, uh, just like Valor Form, but one is like telekinetic, and it's more about like dodging and a mix of the two. Um, and then there's Anti Form, which can't use reaction commands, items, or magic. Which essentially means there's no healing and there's no dodging. Uh, <laughs> But, and that's one you can't, like, pick to choose. It comes randomly. Uh. Fuck you, dragoon! But, uh... Any form has a has like a point meter based on how many times you've used your forms. And uh once you proc any form or the last form, which we don't have yet, and we won't get for a little while, uh final form, it lowers your any form points. And then during boss fights it's like a two times meter. Uh and during uh organization fights it's a ten times meter. So uh, ten times your points possibility for any form, and I haven't Look, gotten. I got any form uh, right at the end of my show yesterday, but uh, that only drops four points off. To get more points off of your any form uh, accumulated points is to use final form which I don't have uh, final form is 10 uh, from what I look, saw when I looked it up uh, but I've had a hundred percent rate every time I fought this fucking boss to proc any form what shall I leave behind bell or the rose So it makes me uh, a little uncomfortable because this is probably the worst boss to get any farm on. Because uh, he's a huge dickhole. And yeah, now you can see why uh, the dragons are kind of based on him. Because he's a fucking dragon. Now this wasn't exactly uh... So the learn command lets me uh, get jumps, which I can then use to jump on his face. Yay, we didn't get it! <laughs> Now this is why I didn't want uh, any form because I would have wrecked his face to this point and now I just have to reaction command and dodge or that happens. I have to stay away from him. It's terrifying.
That was actually pretty good. Oh god, it hurts! Tora! No! Fuck are you! Stay away from me! No! This is bad. Stay away from me. Now this is bad because I'm still in this fucking farm. But, he fucked up. Oh god! Oh god! Then I fucked up. Okay, th this is probably a win. <laughs> probably. I like, can't be sure yet. Got him! There we go. <laughs> I love the Zaldan fight. I just hate popping any form because it's so risky. It's so risky because he has his invincibility. Uh, and on proud mode when he hits hard as shit, that's essentially instant death if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, Luckily, I procked it at the end of the fight, so I got really fucking lucky. Uh, <laughs> I took my hoodie off and now I'm cold again. Like, instant cold. But I was getting too hot with it on. <laughs> Damn it. Here, it's yours again. Bell? I know. You want me to leave the castle. <sighs> what matters is, you weren't hurt by Zaldan. You're safe. <laughs> and, um, I'm very grateful to you. Thank you. Bringing the rose back I thought it was a pretty me. clean job. That's probably the cleanest Alden I've done it's since I started I playing it on you proud mode. Good to me. Uh, you didn't have to be. My best Alden is probably the one I did on normal, which was my second run of the game. Uh, second Say, playthrough of the game. Go on. Uh, Come on. You can do it. We have confidence. Don't be bashful, Mal. But that doesn't really count. Well, I'd like you to stay. <laughs> with me. Please. Uh, since I do play the game on proud mode now. I will. And this is one of the few games you'll actually catch me playing Last on a harder difficulty please. than the default difficulty. Mostly because I've played it so often. <laughs> oh god, slow mo dancing. Hey, did you see the look on Belle's face when she grabbed that rose? <laughs> yup, she sure was having fun, alright. She is rather unique, isn't she? Always ready for a little adventure. Two of them do seem made for each other. Yeah, they should. Mm -hmm. Beast Castle. 
And that closes up base castle. Um, which means we should be able to Olympus Coliseum. Fucking right. Uh, I'm picking up a strange anomaly in the distance. That wasn't very Star Trek of you. You're supposed to want to go explore it. You disappoint me! Oh wait. Hey. Perk! You feeling any better? Well, same routine. Wonder Boy here thinks his hero days are over. And Phil thinks it's all in his head. Gorsh, Herc, we know you're a hero. That's right. <laughs> Blunder boy. How could you mope on a momentous day like today? The Underdrome's back, and you are gonna fill the stands. After all, your fans won't settle for anything less than a certified hero. I mean, if you're not up to it, you could always just, I don't know, lose. I bet you'd like that. Excuse me? Hey, I'm not a selfish guy. I'm not like those high and mighty snobs up on Olympus. I stand for the masses. I am I James Woods. The games, ladies and gentlemen, are back. Yours truly, Hades, the one and only Lord of the Dead, brings you the ultimate game to celebrate. I love how similar the Hades character is to, uh,. James Woods Family Guy character. The winner reigns supreme. Of what? You guessed it. The Hades. Or at least he ended up that way after the first time he appeared. You'll never see your girlfriend again. Low life. You're too kind, kid. I'm handling registration for the Hades Cup. Don't go to panic for that one. Yeah, it's a great way to spend some time. I like those words that I can't read. Probably because they're supposed to be like Greek, but... I can't read them. I want to read them. So the Hades Cup. Who do we face first? Let's see. Spin Strike. Look, Orange in the tournament too. Uh oh, we might have to fight him in the finals. I bet he's a real hero, huh? Well, I don't think he's a bad guy. But you're the only hero around here, Hercules. You know that. Maybe before. Now I'm just... Stop that! I like the music for this world, like the fight music. This is pretty cool. I don't want to go over there. You leave me alone. Leave me alone, Herc. How'd it go out there, champ? I'm just not what I used to be. Sorry to drag you down, guys. Don't throw in the towel yet, Herc. We need you in the semifinals. What? 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 No! 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 
Now this isn't like a standard fucking Kingdom Hearts tournament. Just kind of upsetting. Uh, but it makes sense because it's story based. We're at the semi-finals. Work against battle art. Are they any good? Sounds like they're bad. But we can't chicken out now. Because I'm bad. Bad. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Well, I don't know about bad alert, but fucking frustrating alert? I'll take it. No! Leave me alone! The bombs just wouldn't leave me fucking alone. Thank you. We made it to the finals! If we win, we'll all be heroes. Oh, that's why you're so happy. We can't stay junior heroes forever, you know. I'll try not to mess things up. Enough already. Look over there. He's our final opponent, right? Orin! Oh god, what's happened to you, Orin? And you are... Oh, Orin. I must defeat you and atone for my crimes. Hey! What was that all about? Now we're gonna chase down the Orin. Uh, I wonder where. I don't know. It, it, it's like he's been in some other type of game. State your crime, prisoner. <laughs> I exist. That is my crime. It is inexcusable. <laughs> oh, good. Very good. What's wrong with Orin? He's never acted that way before. <laughs> okay, so you Maybe a game where he was my favorite sense. character. Uh, that that might have been a thing. <laughs> you keep your end of our little deal, and I'm willing to overlook a transgression or two. I understand. Defeat Hercules. Speaking of that and game, I do need to go back to that at some point and level no, up to be able to uh, do the side missions. Oh. Don't side bosses who's in eventually wow. it's a great painful reminder of that isn't it <laughs> hercules and the other three are we clear we're clear no. hades uh, lord hades lord hades. cloud is final fantasy 7 orin is final fantasy 10 um I could kind of see that, but, um, because they're both black-haired dudes, uh, but, um, Orin gave Titus his sword in Final Fantasy X, and he guided Titus through his story in Final Fantasy X. Um, Zack gave Cloud his sword in Final Fantasy VII, uh, and you only see Zack like twice in the entire game. It, if it's even twice, I think it's once uh, if you decide to go get that cutscene. Uh, what a jerk! He probably think that he'd probably think that was a compliment. Speaking of Final Fantasy VII, we gotta do that at some point. I can't stand seeing Orin do that little eye spitting. 
Uh, we've got to help him. Come on, let's go after him. But yeah, um... What's wrong, Sora? Oh, Orin's in trouble. It's like Hades brainwashed him. He's using something. Orin is one of the you know the two characters in Final That's Fantasy X kind of familiar. that I really, really enjoyed. Hmm. Uh, Hades may be using the statue. The other being Jack. Um, so. See if you can find yeah. that statue. It's got to be somewhere in the underworld. Right. Everyone right. else had something that Tell bothered me a little bit. You've got a magic. Uh -huh. I'll fight Orin in the final. One on one. Oh, you will. Hmm. Hmm. I'll draw things out to buy you time. Uh -huh. But just hurry back. I know you can do it. Or bothers me now. Like uh Riku, nothing bothered me when I first played through the game, but nowadays she's just a reminder. Uh, she's what started their trend of trying to make one character that you're supposed to like because of how quirky and like out of place they are in the the group. Uh, The most recent one, I think, was Vanille. Uh, she's the most recent one I've played with, though, in Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, Riku was probably the one done right. Vanille was okay, but... Uh, she's no, uh, no Riku. I'm sure... They've done characters like that previously, but they don't come off the same without voice acting, which they couldn't have before Final Fantasy X. Uh, anywho, yes. Uh, I wouldn't say Titus was the worst Final Fantasy X character. He was the worst playable character, in my opinion. Uh, because it was hard to find redeemable qualities in him until the very end of the game. And that shouldn't be a thing. Uh, you should want to feel for your protagonist. Through the Wow, what the fuck was with the slow-mo in that room? You should want to feel for your protagonist the entire game. Not just the end of the game. So it feels weird when... You don't care about this guy you've been playing as the whole game. Uh, especially in an RPG. Like that... That hurts. It hurts. But it's a thing. So, uh, I think I'm supposed to be, uh, I'd say it's a good game, uh, overall. Uh, like, as long as you remove, the one or two glaring flaws out of it, uh, Unfortunately, one of them I consider a flaw. Apparently, Square doesn't because they reused it in 13. Uh, the fighting of your primary antagonist over and over and over again. I hate that shit in an art like uh, a turn-based RPG. I kind of hate that in like storytelling in general, unless the antagonist is kicking your ass every time you fight him. Uh, it's something they did in 
9, where you got to fight your primary antagonist. But he just straight up wrecked your face hole. Uh, and I only remember that because uh, it was so fucking one-sided. <laughs> it's easy to get lost in what's bad in 13, but uh, there's a lot of good in 13 that uh, people don't see. And I think it gets a lot of unnecessary hate, but it's definitely not a game you can go into without, like, having a love for the turn-based genre. Although in terms of gameplay, it's one of the better uh, turn-based games in terms of gameplay, especially in the Final Fantasy series. Um, because they did do, a lot of the things they did right was in how they improved the, the gameplay itself. Uh, rather than the story. Um, which is kind of sad to say that's where most of the things they did right in the game is. But it really is. Uh, now that is and that's not a terrible thing. They just need to find a way to mix that with the olden days storytelling so that they get an epic story and uh, better gameplay. Even though most fans don't care about the gameplay, it would be nice to have a little of both. But yeah, I mean, it's easy to see where, uh, it's easier to see where 13 went right when you play like Final Fantasy 7 or Final Fantasy 8, uh, or, uh, 1 through 3 on the NES, uh, even though you can only play 1. Unlike an English NES, you need to have to use a Famicom for 2 and 3. Uh, you play those three and it's really easy to see... Like play 1, then play 2, then play 4, and then uh, 6, 7, 8, 10, and 13. Just to see progression, because in terms of progression, those are the ones where they've changed a lot to make it uh, significant. I get it. This is what belongs in Orange. Three was mostly a rehash of one uh, because it was on NES. There wasn't much to improve upon it. Five was a re essentially an improved three where they fixed some of the fl failures that they had already fixed in 4 Nobody's so there's no change the there and then 9 they used this weird accessory system that isn't worth mentioning I that's probably my least favorite uh, ability system in the series Because it forces you to either play with specific like equips or to grind. And I don't mind grinding, but that's kind of pointless. And it's up there with the junction system of 8. Which I'm, I'll never defend Final Fantasy 8's uh, stat system. Because it's not very good. But it's no worse than Final Fantasy 7's system. Well... It's not much worse than Final Fantasy VII's system. Uh,
And it's no worse than the Final Fantasy IX system in my, in my opinion. Even though one is stats and one is abilities. Uh, that just shows how much I hate the Final Fantasy IX system. Because it's like, wear this dagger for 80 more battles. Or some shit like that, because you need to get this ability. Otherwise you're gonna lose it because you're switching to a dagger that you bought like eight chapters ago. Why? Well, why can't I just switch my dagger now? It is! Um, it's my sister's cup. I don't follow sports, I just grabbed a cup out of the fucking... Uh, the thing. But I've never been shy about where I live, so that just sort of... That doesn't really bother me. Uh... <laughs> Showing off the glass. So, if you had guessed our boss for this fight, if you hadn't seen it before, um, you might have guessed Orin up until that point, and then you probably would have guessed who it is, uh, I guess so. Uh, Sora. Donald. Goofy. But to be honest, I literally haven't bothered with uh, sports since uh, Maguire and Sosa. Like that's that's about as recent as I am Maybe with this, with uh, this is baseball, story, and, you're not and every other sport, don't know shit about it, <laughs> because I don't care. That's it. This game is over. I've played by the rules so far. Okay, I confess, I was hoping Wonder Boy would lose, but it was still a fair fight. Come on! Is that really so wrong? Huh? Really? A fair <laughs> fight? <laughs> laugh, laugh, laugh all you want! <laughs> Cause the laughing is about to stop. You wanna know why? Because now we're gonna play by my rules. <laughs> now this is like... Straight up from the Hercules movie, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's been so long since I've seen the Hercules movie, though. You don't compete, you lose the girl. No, Meg, hang on. Looks like Wonder Boy has dropped out of the stand. Well, you've still got us to deal with. This is gonna be good. It's boss time! I have AP. When when did I get AP? this fucking ring uh, that nobody's gonna fucking wear cuz it's a piece of shit oh goofy can wear it it doesn't help him but he can wear it 
Uh, oh, that's annoying. So we've only got one of these guys who isn't uncloaked, and it's this fucker. Uh, we actually get to meet him soon. Uh, I forgot about that. Uh, He's actually one of the guys I'd consider for a uh, favorite uh, organization member. Anywho, boss fa Oh god, what was that? That's it. James Woods! We can't fuck with James Woods though. James Woods is like, nah man, I'm too angry. We can't win. Because it's his underworld. How do we beat him? I think a true hero should be able to help. You. I owe you one, Hades. I didn't hesitate to give my life for Megs, and then I remembered. A true hero is measured by the strength of his heart. If that's the case, Sora's been a hero for I'll a very long time. Again. Just no more crazy stunts. People always do crazy things when they're in love. <laughs> what is so funny, you imbeciles? How dare you get a happy ending? How, How dare, dare you? you? How dare you feel good about yourselves? That's it. You won't stop a true hero from eating that. So this is how we do the the Hades fight. Um, Hades repeats himself about a million times, or no, not Hades. Hercules repeats himself about a million times. Okay then. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? Break his heart! Oh god! Oh 
Oh, he's already dealt with. Got him! Simple and easy. Adjust the die to that. Uh, Hades really isn't too bad. I was much more concerned with the Zaldan fight. It turned out looking easier than the Hades fight, which is kind of funny. Hey look, we're your orange, yellow, orangish. Goodbye, James Woods. I miss you. What you gonna do now? I lived my life defending others, but now there's no one left to protect. Maybe it's time I shaped my own story. Yeah, you deserve it, Orin. After everything you've been through, I, I'm a little tired of hearing about stories. I got enough of that in Final Fantasy X. I should thank you. Not at all. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I mean, sure, you could thank us a little. Thank you, sir. You should say what you mean. Uh. I guess I could spare a few words. Thanks for meddling. <laughs> hey, what's that mean? The smiles in this game look so, like, creepy. Yay! This is, like, one of my favorite serious talk. It's so simplistic, but this is one of my favorite Keyblade designs of this game. Uh... I think there's like one or two that are are more interesting to me, but thanks again, guys. Uh, You're the best. I also am a real big fan of red. It's oh, my favorite color. Like so all the red keyblades awful. tend to like get I'm extra kidding. points, Thank you. So even if they don't dumb. deserve them. Goofy. So where are you guys headed next? Uh, you know. You two lovebirds seem to be getting along just fine without us hanging around. Yeah, we gotta go! Uh-huh. Before we start meddling. <laughs> yep. Right. Are you turkeys trying to put me out of a job? If you keep acing every challenge, champ, who am I gonna train? Aw, oh, you can't abandon me now, Phil. I gotta be at the top of my game in case Hades shows up again. Cool, I mean, cool, he was what? Yeah, come on, Phil. How about it? Let me see now. Well, you're not wise enough. Not quite seasoned enough. Okay, okay, we get the hint. Look, kid, it's not my call. Ah, fool. Of course, if it was, you'd have no problem. I'd make you all heroes, in a heartbeat. Really? Say it again. On second thought, if those are your hero faces, you still got a lot of work to do. <laughs> no. Go away. Come back, Phil. Phil. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. See that? Well, what do you know? So it's kind of like, uh, you're about to see it. It's kind of like they finally were considered heroes in the eyes of the Olympus Coliseum world. In the end, after all. And that closes out that story. Uh, fun stuff. And it added another fucking tournament right there. Um, 
So we gotta do Port Royale to get Agrabah and uh, Nightmare Before Christmas open again. Uh, so we're gonna do that. They did this on purpose, by the way, because uh, uh, Beast Castle and Point Royale have organization members, as does Land of Dragons. Uh, we saw Zigbar in Land of Dragons, Zaldan in Beast Castle, and this, uh, even though we don't know it yet, is organization member number 10. He's the last guy we haven't... Uh, unveiled yet so they kind of did that on purpose to show the face of the last three members uh, that we haven't seen the face of yet that's coming from the port let's check it out and those were the only three worlds we could go to at first were organization worlds worlds where we would see their fucking faces Um, the other ones are just sort of extra stories, like the Hades fight, uh, stuff like that. Please tell me the Guardian Soul is better. Eh, kind of. I Means the Rumbling Rolls is better here. Uh... That means my Valor form is really, really powerful right now. Which is kind of scary to think about. New treasure! Uh, now this is one of the few worlds that has new treasure because it has a section of the world we weren't allowed to go to yet, uh, just like the Land of Dragons had the Emperor's Room. Uh, this one also has a section that we hadn't been able to go to yet. Tore off to the harbor now, finally. <laughs> Jack! Harbor? Zola, some assistance? That's Sora, Donald, and Goofy. <laughs> Will you leave a mate to perish? Aye, aye. Don't worry, we will broom him to death. So we're actually gonna use Goofy now that I've realized. How strong Valor form probably is at this point. Oh, look at that. Look at it. Those pirates were cursed. I thought we'd seen the last of the curse of the Aztec gold. What gives? Some scallywag must have got greedy. Oh, I see. You don't trust me, do you? I like me a wise choice. I am a pirate, mates. Jack, Sora, Elizabeth. Some sticky business of this afoot, I fear. Wait, Jack, I need your help. 
The cursed pirates have returned. Will had to find out why. So he went to Ula de Muerta. Check on the Aztec treasure. I fear something's happened. You have to take me to him. Aye, there it is. If you'll be wanting him rescued, best do it alone, lass. Alone? Really, Jack? Sail to the island and take on the cursed pirates. Well, if any lass could. Are you sure he's in trouble? No, not certain. But he's been gone too long. I wanted to go with him. But he insisted I stay here. I can't just sit and wait. I've got to know if he's alright. Lucky man. Please, Jack, take me to him. Hold a moment. I see no profit in it for me. I shall reward you, of course. You do owe Will. You saved your life before. Right. Shall we? And away we go! So this is the first time we get to ride uh, the Black Pearl. Uh, we rode the Interceptor uh, our entire trip to Port Royal uh, the first time. Because we were fighting the Captain, Captain Barbosa. And now that he be gone, uh, he be gone. That kind of sounds like a fucking uh, an insect spray, like pest be gone or something. Yeah. No! Now you'll notice there were three sections of the map. Um, that is because we will be getting to go there this time. Uh, last time I was only allowed to go to uh, the two we're going to right now. Um, well, I guess we didn't go to the port. These bomb fucks are really annoying on this top floor because there's barely any light. And their bombs aren't exactly uh, safe. They look a landscape, dude. I'd rather see Heartless right now, because I can fight them everywhere. Yeah, energy's down. My arm itches. And kind of itches a lot. <laughs> the interceptor off the starboard bow! Will! Stop that, Jack! <laughs> We've got to rescue him! Will, wake up! Yeah, slap his face. Elizabeth. What happened? The medallions. And the stone chest. Someone's taken them. Next thing I knew, we were attacked. But I couldn't see who it was. His face was shrouded in a black hood. The organization. We found a way out of the cave. But the villain sent a horde of terrible creatures after us. I've never seen their likes before. I think I'm the only one who made it back to the ship. Will. Elizabeth. I feel rather... Uh... Our 
our turn, guys. You'd best go prepared. We've no idea what's out there. Pardon me, lads and lass, but your captain will have no monsters today. Thank you. We're turning for home. Just like that? Just like that. Just like that. And we're actually going to take our first break of the day now because it's five minutes away and uh... It's actually not a bad stopping point for the break. So! Let's set up break music. This works. Thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the show. We're kicking off, uh, we kicked out the show already with some Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, we finished Beast Castle and Olympus Coliseum in the first hour and a half. That's pretty fucking good. Um, considering they have some kind of difficult bosses. Um, this boss is also one I don't have the greatest track record with. Uh, because it's easy to just sit there and spam your fucking hex button. Uh, which is why this Alden fight is so hard. If you just sit there and spam the X button, you're gonna die. Uh, for me anyway. For normal people, it's an easy fight, because you just spam triangle and then spam X. Anyway, uh, we'll be back in 5 to 10 minutes, and uh, when we come back, we'll be continuing with uh, some Port Royale. Uh, so there's that. Uh, so don't go away. We'll be right back.
We are back. Kind of. I'm a little cold. <laughs> uh, so I might put my hoodie back on. The, the room is kind of cold, but I, I heat up pretty fast because of this blanket on my legs. Uh, even though my feet never get warm. They don't get frozen either. Which is awesome. Uh, so. Let's just get back to the game because uh, I kind of just want to play right now. I don't want to like sit here and talk. Uh, the break was a little bit longer because uh, well, I do want to sit here and talk just while I'm playing the game. <laughs> anyway, the break was a little longer because uh, we're changing how the cats get fed because they're getting fat. Like we normally feed them like four times throughout the day, and they eat every sitting, which they don't need that much food and. Uh, they definitely shouldn't be having it because they're like getting really fat. Uh. So. Like. Um. I had to check their hard food, which they get to eat all day, like it sits out all day for them. Uh, and it was empty, so I decided to fill that up. Don't remember inviting you. So it was the organization. We'll handle this. Uh -huh. The darkness of men's hearts, drawn to these cursed medallions. And this heartless, a veritable maelstrom of avarice. I wonder, are they worthy to serve Organization 13? You would have noticed uh, after Sayak showed up again. But the reason we know this is number 10, or Riku, uh, is because after someone's removed their hood, like Axel and Sayak, they never put it back on. Um, now you can consider this like the mid boss of the uh, the level. Although this guy is our our boss of the level too. Uh, believe it or not, he's just a harder version of this guy. Which I guess would be very obvious since we're just destroying them with no... Just like that. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so... Since he spoke, we kind of know it's not Riku at that point. So the only possible answer... Is... Not over yet. Number 10. <laughs> Throw him overboard. Aye aye. Holly! Excuse me. Barley? Barley. It's of the pirate's code. Anyone who invokes Barley must not be harmed till negotiations are complete. This is no time for rules. The true. But as we're honorable pirates, we should always stick to the code. All right, you. Out with it. I surrender the chest with my humblest apologies. Rather accommodating of you, mate. And for that you want... Just a few souvenirs. For the memories. Huh? Oh, no! And there's our new Heartless. Er, Heartless. Our new nobody. Uh, that references our new friend Luxord. Uh, 
And he hasn't mentioned his name, nor will he. Uh, but we'll have it anyway. Because that's how the fucking character screen works, apparently. So yeah, the magician, nobody, I don't remember what it's actually called. You stole a medallion again? Were I only that fortunate? Fortunate? So uh, how come you're all skeletony? Perhaps I got a touch of something from that monster what attacked us, yet why is the skin resting right on you three? Because we're not greedy. What are you looking at? That still doesn't solve the mystery. <laughs> Gorge. Maybe the reason we're all okay is because we're not from this world. There must be different laws. Yeah. We're always just passing through. Wonder when we'll see home again. Sure. <laughs> Just kidding you. Lucky we didn't get cursed, huh? Quit yammering, mates. We've got to find ourselves a ship that'll float. He thinks a little too much. Okay. We got Peter Pan! Uh... Now we've never actually had Peter Pan before. We've had Tinkerbell. Uh, now we actually get to have Peter Pan. Uh, I want Bambi back. Bambi was cool. She healed. And healed. Did I mention she healed? Ah, high drive recovery. Oh shit, the king recipe. So, we got saved the queen. That's Donald's weapon from the queen recipe. The king recipe is save the king. It's one of the three recipes I was referring to earlier. Uh, save the king. It's the one I hoped that I was getting when I got save the queen. Uh, because it, like, the name seems more fitting for Goofy. I don't know why. Uh, or the sh for a shield. Say the Queen sounds more fitting for a shield. But, uh... I'm hot again. <laughs> Fucking hey. So, we found the first asshole. You'll notice he's got cards and a die. Um, remember that. He didn't actually get to attack, and hopefully none of them will because they can be rather annoying. But, um,. Remember that because every time a nobody shows up with a s an organization member, it's a reference to that organization member. Um, now that wasn't verified until Zaldin, uh, other than my word, but uh, it's true. So Zaldin with his lances. Uh, Zigbar summoned snipers 
Which, you can only imagine how fucking frustrating that is when we get to the Zigbar fight. Uh, the Zigbar fight's probably one of the hardest fights in the last world. Uh, and that's a little spoilerish, but I think I'm okay with that. Because you kind of expect the number two guy to be in the last world. Jack, what happened? This is horrible. Her lips ain't moving. I... But who's to blame for it, eh? Well, it certainly isn't Elizabeth. It's Organization 13. They're the ones behind it all. I wonder where they went. The hooded man took the pirates and his cr creatures with him into some strange hall. We saw them leave from inside the captain's stateroom. Didn't occur you to fight them then, mate. I'm no fool. I knew I was no match for them. That, I believe. Sora, I think we need your help. Got it. First, let's find all the medallions. Otherwise, the curse can't be broken. And the creatures will remain invincible. Uh... Now we have gotten a glimpse of what our uh, our boss fight's going to look like when we finally get to fight him. Because he pushed us onto the interceptor. Uh, but we haven't really... I guess you could gather the mechanics of the fight just based on that cutscene, but you'd have to be like fucking... You'd probably have to be older one. I was a kid, so there was no way I was thinking on that turns at the time. Um, on those terms at the time, I guess would be the better statement. Um, the medallion's under us! Fucking, how do I get down? Oh, well, we got it. I came here for the boxes. A meteor staff. Now, we haven't replaced either of their weapons in fucking forever. But the Meteor Staff is actually really nice because it has Lucky Lucky on it. Oh, I forgot about the Ogre Shield. God, I'm fu- uh. I'm so smart. Uh. <laughs> I need to equip this. Ooh, draw. Hyper healing would be more efficient though. So we added Luxor. Uh Cat just ran down here. He was very upset. Oh god! That means I need to do the character link. Now we can see all their faces now! Isn't that awesome? Uh, most of them are dead. This one's dead, 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 and that one's dead. Uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one are alive. And this one's alive, but he's not there yet. He's also not really alive when you really think about it, but at the same time he is. Uh, he's there, he's just no longer himself. The Gambler! 
the high ranking nobodies only like respond really to their own superior or the superiors of their like people so like uh for example we'll use the gambler uh, Luxord is 10, so they respond to Luxord and they would respond to anybody higher than them. Uh, now I can't verify this because nobody else uses anything other than their own uh, nobodies. There's a uh, Zaldan's nobody. Um, that's Sigvar's. I don't know who the samurai would be. Uh, my guess is Alexius. This for the dancer is uh, Larkson. Or Merluxia. Uh, now, you could guess this was Lexius, but we saw whose this is. Uh, he used it. Uh, when we first encountered the Berserker. And I should have mentioned it then, but I didn't think about it. Because uh, I never really made that connection until this playthrough. Uh, when I saw the Zigbar summon. When I saw Zigbar summon uh, the snipers, and then I looked, thought back on the Twilight Town experience, I knew immediately what was going down. Ori Chalcum! I don't really know how that's pronounced, but it, it's not Ori Chalkum. And hopefully that's right. Um, yeah. So we need to find the medallions now. We've sort of fucked around long enough looking at the journal. This fucking asshole. I'm gonna fight the dogs. I'm gonna stand over here. Because it's easier to get them over here when I'm like way out in the light. This is a better battle arena for these fuckheads because this entire backside is light. <laughs> get to see Goofy's crotch shot. There's our friend! Oh, I had to do that in time. 
I don't know if the last one's at the port or here. Uh, now this one's harder because we have to find the uh, area he's in. Of course, we managed to find it anyway, uh, without much issue. That's four medallions. We got them all. But where's the chest? If we find the hooded man, we'll find it. Probably in Port Royal. Why is that? Organization 13 is after people's hearts. So they're gonna go wherever there's lots of people. They'll hurt the townsfolk? No, they're bringing them flowers, mate. Yeah, flowers! I don't know who these organizers are, but I will say they're making we pirates look like proper gents. Well, Jack. Then... We have to help. Then let go and hold her run free. Yo ho, yo ho. What? Oh. We're not doing that? Okay. What I was looking forward to it. Yo lied to me. still running slow-mo for some reason. <laughs> 